So guys, what's going on? I got a little bit of errands to run. Um, I did get a phone call from some guy who was having trouble putting in a fuse in his car. So let's see how that works. Um, I guess I'll just stop by there since I'm on my way out anyway. I'm also going to go down to the Volvo dealership because one of my friends who works there is going to replace some of my snap-on tools for me with the snap-on guy. So let's see how good that goes. So um, don't worry guys, there is going to be a 60 seconds with Basuki review uh, later this evening. I'm just doing this quick uh, vlog because you guys are going to be with me while I am driving to do what I do best. Fix vehicles and whew, that's some bright sun. Fix some vehicles and also go to the bank and do whatever I got to do. So let's take this ride. Uh, one of my viewers... One of my viewers did ask me about, um, they did put a comment on for the autonomous car video. They put a, a comment saying that one day cars will fly as well. Um, I believe that's possible, yes. Uh, one thing I do have to say is that's gonna be like a whole nother thing if that does happen because the government will now have to give everyone pilot's license. Um, you're gonna be flying a vehicle and maybe there's gonna be a certain altitude that the cars can fly but people could barely drive on the street. How do you know they're gonna drive really well on the, in the air? Like, you know, we all make mistakes all the freaking time. Um, I don't see us flying in the air as being particularly safe, especially since we do have a lot of moronic people out there who have a lot of road rage, so now they're gonna have air rage, and uh, they're just gonna kill one another in the air. And then it's going to be even more dangerous because now the car is going to be up in the air and then they get into an accident and then the car is going to fly down to the ground, explode, and kill a whole bunch more people just walking down the ground, you know? So I don't know where that's going to go, um, but that's just answering my viewer's question or his, uh, Next life. his thought. Since a lot of things are going electric now, um, there's no need for... There may not be need for mechanics later on. They're only just... You'll just need to be an electrician to figure out things, you know? That's just my thought. Oh, man. Right now, it's 50 degrees outside, so it's actually not really that cold. I mean, we've had colder to, uh, the past few weeks. Uh, he did tell me that he bought the fuse. Okay. Parked up time. All right, guys. What's going on? Um, battery looks like it's about to die on this thing. So, I did actually fix the uh, car. It only took me, like, five minutes. Um, one of the fuse were blown. It was the 80 amp main fuse or the ignition fuse it said on the box so right now hold on, someone's calling me the ignition fuse so um he actually wanted me to look at another car for him so i'm actually gonna head home get my scanner do some diagnostic work and uh let's see what that says he told me it said the catalytic converter but he wants me to check into it anyway just to make sure so, steven he's right there actually i see him Alright guys, so I just finished talking with my boy Steven. He was he was doing his thing. He actually sells a lot on um his Etsy store with Omni Sells. His Etsy store is called Omni Sells. He also sells a lot on eBay. So if you guys are watching this video, you know, take a look at his stuff. You know, he's a cool kid. He sells a lot of stuff, so give him some support. But um Let's head back to that guy's plate. The sun's already going down. It's already currently 2.11. I haven't even done my 60 seconds with Basuki, which that will be coming out very soon. Actually, I really like doing the YouTube, and I like talking to you guys, whoever likes watching me. I think this is really, really fun. All right, guys, so I just finished diagnosing the car for him. Um, one of the mechanics had told him it was a catalytic converter, but actually, I saw that it was the oxygen sensor. Um, I hooked it up and I was trying to read. The thing wasn't getting a reading. But 90% sure it's an oxygen sensor. I'll look more into it and give him a price on that. I ended up, you know, helping him with his... Uh, I think it was a Honda Accord he got for free. That's what he told me. And then they ended up putting... Someone put it on a battery for him. And they reversed the two terminals. So they put the negative to the positive and the positive to the negative. Which, in fact, fried... It didn't fry the ECU, but it blew the fuse and melted the fuse. So we just got went back. We got a, we bought an ignition fuse for it, put it in. Car started up really fine. All right, guys. So um, I just came back from driving to my friend's dealership. 
uh, at Volvo and I gave him my snap-on tools. It was an 18 millimeter socket and a um, Phillips head for an impact driver. So by Friday, he said the guy will come, so he'll replace it for me. I'll go pick it up on Friday. You know, by 2018, before the ending of 2018, I do wanna, I wanna put some goals out there. I want to have over 100,000 subscribers. I believe it's very possible. Um, I think my channel will get it eventually. I just gotta keep sticking to these videos, which I will be doing. I build a really good following and I have really loyal, you know, followers that, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and uh, Facebook. And, uh, you know, right now, I just, I, I want to build that big following. I want to be able to let people know my story. I want them to, you know, understand where I'm coming from, my background, uh, what is it that I do, you know, what messages that I'm trying to get across to people. Uh, also, I am in the works of, you know, looking for a project car. I'm trying to find a, uh, like an old Corolla you know, a really, really old one, uh, probably in the 90s, 99 or something. So the plan is to scrap it down, clean it, paint it, because I want to paint it my custom red and black for Corolla Customs. It'd be cool to see if I can make it in 10 second Corolla. You no, know, I had this car since 2011. My dad bought it brand new. Pretty blessed to get these things in life. I did, um, I did email Chris Fix and I tried to do a collaboration video with him. He did respond to me. He did tell me that he was pretty busy. Um, I'd love to do a collaboration with one of those guys and do a build and race them, of course. I'd like to do a, uh, cause I don't really have any experience in the racing build type of engines, but I do have friends and stuff who, you know, do it and I can recruit them on my team and we can build something and then, you know, challenge, challenge those guys. I'd love to, love to challenge Mighty Car Mods or, uh, or Chris Viggs, you know, one of those guys and, or Bees for Build. I really like Bees for Build. They're a good channel too. He's a he's a cool guy. Uh, Chris Fix is really respectful. He's really nice. And uh, I haven't met them, but from talking, you know, I haven't met Bees for Build or, or talked to him, but just watching his videos, he looks like a nice guy. Chris Fix, I re he responded to me a few times on Instagram. He's really respectful and really nice guy. So I have nothing bad to say about him. I did email Mighty Car Mods, but they never responded back. But they they seem like really cool guys as well. They've been doing it for a very long time. They actually got me inspired to do a YouTube channel. I think this is pretty freaking cool that I can record and talk to you guys at the same time while I'm driving. This is really cool. I'm gonna do a lot of these car vlogs because I drive so many places. I drive... I have driven this car for 39,483 miles. That's a lot of places this car went. Only in Jersey. Every time I wash my car, I always do an underbody wash. Every single time, especially during the winter, because the salts on the road will corrode your car, and you do not want that happening. Then you gotta fix the holes, then you gotta fix this, then you gotta fix that. Nah, nah, I'm not about that. So, every single car wash, I always wash the underneath of the car. Especially in the winter. In the winter, I take my time and wash it. I put uh, the power washer on, get underneath there, wash it really good. With really hot water too. I, in the winter, I wash it with hot water. I feel like the hot water helps the paint. It, it, it makes the paint more vibrant. So, yeah. All right, all right, anyone crossing? Nope. Oh, ooh, damn, man, this is my right away, bro. What you doing? People do not know how to drive. This is my damn right away to go. And he just cut in front of me. We just arrived, backing it in. Back in it. What the heck is going on right now? And, all right, guys. I'm gonna go and, and fix this Basuki episode with him. So, see you in a few.